Oh boy. I couldn't even believe what I was looking at. This dog was clearly on the street. He was emaciated. He was sick. He was only using two legs. It doesn't seem like it hurts him. No, he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. He loves oh, he's so sweet. I mean, what a sweetie. The pit bulls are vicious. Yeah. The pit bulls were vicious. Oh. I'm Wendy Cummings. I'm a comedian and forever foster mom. You are so Kaylee Cuoco sent me this link to this dog. He was only using two legs. And she's like, we gotta do something. I just saw an incredible spirit. Boy, let's get out of here, huh? That's my favorite thing to be able to say to a dog is, we'll take it from here. I can't believe how cute you are. You wanna come up here, baby? The first time he came over, his personality was like, why is everyone so focused Whoa. on these two legs? Why does everyone feel sorry for me? Let's party. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah, I got you now. You're fine. You're fine. I know. I know. No, that was a little back leg. Clearly, he had been in some kind of accident when he was a baby. We'll fix that, too. And then he was fighting so hard to walk that his spine started accommodating it. He was able to balance himself on two left legs. That's didn't even know what to say. They were like, I can't, there's nothing explains this. Hey, buddy, buddy. I don't think he had been in a house with a lot of stairs before me. Honey, honey. Oh my gosh, honey, honey. I did stand there, waited patiently, was ready to catch him if he fell, but really wanted him to have faith in his body. You want to show everyone your new hip? Who got a new hip? We had to get him a hip replacement surgery. Thanks for my new hip, Kaylee. Yeah, I'm still making it work. And the front paw, they thought, should be cut off. And I was like, I think he kind of uses it. All we needed to do was get him to be able to lift it just an inch so that it wouldn't drag on the ground. Did I make you a little sleep? And I was like, I just think he can do it. I believe that he can. I believe that he wants to. And I believe that he understands what the goal is. Okay, so doing his physical therapy is not easy. Sorry about the butthole. Because he's so wily and wants to run around. So I have to basically give him a treat and then lay on him. Things you do for love. I'd watch him beat the odds every single day in front of me. I saw this dog jump on beds and an impossible thing be overcut on a daily basis. And then he really did start to pull up that front paw. It started to get higher and higher and he started building a little bit of muscle there and a little more and a little more. Magic Pony really taught me that there is an inexplicable, invisible, magical element that can help us heal faster and overcome obstacles that we never thought were possible before. He just taught me that it's time to enjoy your life. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm very distracted. I do have a foster dog who is very handicapped, who I'm trying, who just wants time. He's so heavy. Is this audio gonna be annoying with him panting? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> He just wants a home. That's all I want is love. I fostered Magic Pony for uh, about two years. I was so attached to him. I was hoping I'd be able to keep him forever. But because I have three other dogs, it was just unfair for me to not give him the home that he deserved. <laughs> is it your big day? Get over here. Is it your big day? Are you so excited? Oh my God, yes. When did Bree, the reason I knew right away that she was his forever mom is that she didn't pity him. She was so excited. It was almost like they'd been together forever. And then she walked out and he just followed her. And like got in the car and that was it. And it was like, oh yeah, that's exactly how that was supposed to happen. So I am about to see Magic Pony for the first time in in almost a year. We didn't really have a proper goodbye because I was I just knew I was gonna be too sad. But Brie lives in San Diego and I was down here performing uh, doing stand-up and I was like, can I see magic? I'm gonna cry. I already feel it. I think the most emotional moment was just when um before I saw him actually, before he even knew I was there, like watching them walk up and like seeing him how happy he was. He just lives by the beach with Bree, who loves him so much. Hello! <laughs> Seeing him in his element, his new life with his paw up high and his body working. And... 
this is the life I would have given anything to give to him. This exact life. I got you, boy. Oh, the boy, the boy. Oh, the Honestly, boy. there's just no better ending to a story like that. Pony boy, magic pony boy. It's just nothing short of a miracle. He has the best life I've ever seen. Seen his foot. See, oh, his foot.